Steve, I mean, you get, you, I mean, because you have a, such a distinctive look, you must get recognised everywhere now as well, I would have thought, don't you? The most unusual place I got recognised, I was in Dubrovnik, and I was, yeah, you heard me. And, uh, <laughs> and I was filming something in Dubrovnik, and I had to eat oysters for this filming, and just before we ate the oysters, someone said to me, you know, if you eat a bad oyster, you'll never eat them again, because the pain is so bad. And I was like, that can't be right. And I ate these oysters, and I'm not joking, about four hours later, I was in so much pain, I was crawled up in my hotel room, and I was screaming, I will never eat oysters again. <laughs> and normally, when you've got sort of food poisoning, it comes out, doesn't it? Either comes out yeah. there or the... It, this, these oysters would not leave. <laughs> they would not leave. They were like my parents at Christmas. They would not go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm in just the worst. Honestly, I've never thought anything like it. And in the end, I said, you have to call an ambulance. Uh, sorry, call a doctor. So they, they called a doctor, and about two in the morning, this doctor comes. And he, and he sort of examines me and he says, look, the only thing we can do is I'll, I'll give you an injection to, to, uh, uh, to loosen your stomach muscles. Just to, to so you were, like, cramping Because I was cramping up. So he, so he says, yeah, so drop... He said, drop your pyjamas. <laughs> like, right. He said, turn around, because I've got to put it in, the, in your posterior. So, so I sort of, you know, I come there and, I, and I'm like that. And he's got... He gets this bloody great syringe out and he's about to put it in and he goes, are you Stephen Merchant? <laughs> <laughs> I, my first thought was, has he recognised me from my art? <laughs> Is that what I'm known for in Dubrovnik? Am I like the Croatian Kim Kardashian? <laughs> <laughs> so he puts this injection in, and, and then and I, I was like, oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. And he goes, don't suppose I could get a selfie, could I? <laughs> and I was thinking, well, I might have to call him again later, cos if it gets worse, I don't want to upset him. So I'm like, yes, yeah. so I'm like... I was like, you know, in war films, when a guy's been shot in the stomach, <laughs> and I was like... Oh. And I have this photo with him. <laughs> and he leaves. And I was like, oh. and, and I sort of got marginally better. And then the next day, it was so sweet, cos I didn't call him again, and then I was back in the hotel, I was feeling a bit better. And then the following evening, he, um, I got a message from the reception saying, um, Oh, the doctor's back. And I said, I didn't order the doctor. He says, can he come up to the room? And he came up to the room and he knocked on and he said, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have asked for a picture. That was really rude of me. And it was so sweet. He'd come all the way back Aww. on his own time to apologise. Um, uh, but he's still got a picture of me with my trousers in my ring. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>